Hello and welcome back to Foos Entertainment for um, the next review on the Halloween week reviews in which we are doing a return to series of Phantasm, The Purge, and Halloween. Not all the Halloween movies, just the ones that are in 4K. There might be little surprises at the end of all that too, I might add. Maybe doing a very first on this channel in terms of a, of a type of, of review. So let's talk about The Purge Anarchy. My return to The Purge Anarchy. Now something that you guys have probably noticed is that uh, The Purge films have been in regular Blu-ray and not 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. That's because I couldn't find them. It was always my intention that when I did Return to Series to do the 4K versions. But I'm doing the best I can to make it look as close to a 4K version of the film as possible with my setup. Alright, so The Purge Anarchy, which came out in 2014. Alright, <coughs> well, it's just not going to be talking completely in depth about the plot of the film. If you want that review, I did that years ago. And it was one of the first reviews I did on this channel, so you can go back in time Looking for the videos on this channel, and you will eventually find it. I think there actually might be um, a playlist for it. Maybe it's during the first Holder Film Festival playlist, which I think is like 2018s or 2017s. Um, Holder Fest playlist. I believe it's in there. Or maybe Put a Purge has its own playlist. But if you want the original review, is back there. It's going to be inferior in every way to this review. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about um, about the Purge Anarchy. Well, the Purge Anarchy to me is still the best Purge film out of all of them. And I have seen all of them now. Because I yeah, did a turn to a series in celebration of the Forever Purge, which is the most recent one that came out. And um, out of all of these films, my favorite one is still... It's still this one. I think this is the best one. Now, is it because of the main character? Me, de me being a man of action, a martial arts expert and gun expert, and sort of a phantom? No. That's not really it. I just like the flow of the film. I like the effects. I like um, the ride that the film takes me on. It really is a good, fun film. And there's lots of stuff in it that I really enjoy. And that's really where my su subjective opinion of The Purge Anarchy is the best one out of the entire film series. Alright, so quick plot synopsis, just recap. A, um, an ex-cop as well as ex-Secret Service agent on the year's annual Purge is going out on a quest for redemption and revenge against a drunk driver who killed his son. Along the way, he finds himself rescuing a bunch of stragglers who are being hunted down by government operatives that are trying to masquerade as purgers to bring down population. And in the end, he gets redeem redeemed when the person that he set out to kill rescues him from his own demise. I think that's the easiest, quickest way to talk about the plot of the film. Not all that difficult at all. <coughs> now, the rewatch itself versus what it was before. Well, obviously, what it was before is very much um, an inferior environment to what I have now. I would say that. Watching The Purge Anarchy now, this, this recent time, is a much better movie. Watching it theatrically, you can really get in the mindset and into the rule of The Purge so much more watching it on a big 110 inch projector, projector screen and watching it with really good, with really good top line projector and having a nice conversion of his DTS HDMA being converted to a DTS neutral X three-dimensional sound presentation really does bring out 
the experience in a really groundbreaking way. Like I said, and I will continue to say, I cannot stress enough how watching these films theatrically as big movies is the way to go. And that's pretty much all there is to say about The Purge Anarchy. If you want a more in-depth review, watch the original I made during the first Hoarder Film Festival I did on this channel a few years back. And I'll see you guys next time for my review of the new Screen Factory 4K Collector's Edition of Halloween 2. Until then.